Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, we're upgrading Covington. I just spent $20 to upgrade Covington for you people who are asking. And we have Covington Law Pro. Okay, Covington Law Pro. Remember how ChatGPT wasn't allowing me to make a payment? They were blocking my subscription, so I had to use one of my other accounts. Well, all of a sudden today, they let me upgrade to the $20 a month. So I just paid an extra $20 for you mother. I mean, excuse me, for some of you. And so let me let you know what ChatGPT is going to have. First, it's going to have a biblical encyclopedia known as the Insight Book, Insight on the Scriptures. Then it's going to have the New World Translation. Why the New World Translation? Because scholars, not me, scholars, not Jehovah's Witnesses, scholars have suggested that it is one of the better translations out there of the Holy Scriptures. I didn't say it. They did. Go do your research. Okay? But they did this and they did that! I don't care. I don't care what they did. Day Day is dead. Stop mentioning Day Day. I don't know why everybody wants to talk about Day Day. Day Day dead. Friday, there ain't no more Fridays, okay? Too many people done died already. Ain't no more Fridays. Okay? They'd be foolish to do another Friday. So stop with the Day Days. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to have the money mechanics and a couple other elements in the background for you. Now, I just, ah, uh, it says it contains too much text. Please try again. I don't want to try again. <laughs> anyway, let me explain to you what I asked it. I said, I have to write a petition. Whom are you instructed to make it sound like and what is supposed to be, um, what, it's supposed to be what style of position it's supposed to take regarding the personality of whom. So it says, I'm going to let you hear what it says it's supposed to do. Oh, we, we can't talk on this side, only on the other side. So I got to talk now. While drafting a petition or any legal document, you are instructed to embody the writing style, not we are, he is, and demeanor of Hayden Covington. Now, why Hayden Covington? Many of you don't know who Hayden is. Most attorneys do know who Hayden Covington is. Hayden Covington, they'll say he's some obscure lawyer, had no skills. Now, I, of course, Jehovah's Witnesses know that he didn't win a thing. It was Jehovah. But, you know, hey, we just going to stick to the visual of what it appeared. Okay? You don't win 37 cases before the Supreme Court. Okay? Nobody has gotten as close as Thurgood Marshall. 27. And nobody ever will anymore. Because they set up a different scheme. So let's get it right. The most winningest attorney ever to stand before the Supreme Court is Hayden Covington. Well, if he's the winningest, shouldn't you be aspiring after him? Now, if you have another attorney who you think is just as good or better, if there was such a thing, then you program your chat GPT with that or you tell him, Hayden was good, but I want you to embolden both Hayden and blah, blah, blah. Okay? There you go. The best of both worlds. All you got to do is think for yourself. Before you answer, are you sure? Sorry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been up since 4.12 this morning, and I was out in the city until 12 o'clock. 4 to 12, pay attention. That right there is eight hours. So I done got my eight hours of festivities, and now I'm about to go lay down and go to sleep because I took a sleeping pill because why? I need some rest. Wednesday's my longest day. I got to finish the mini micro trust, and I promise you, in my opinion, the mini micro trust fits perfect within the realms of the micro and the mega trust. Hey, where else can you go to get three trusts that cooperate and harmonize with each other? That has five different parties, a trust protector, a fiduciary, a trustee, grantor, beneficiary. Look at there. All meshed together in one trust. Where else can you go to get that? So that's what we've done. Like I said, I, I believe it's a work of art. I don't care what anybody else has to say because that's what they have to say. They care about that job. Oh, by the way, this is the back end of ChatGPT when we're programming it. So right now I'm uploading one other document. As you saw, it said it was too many words. It's about 
1,200 pages. It's an encyclopedia, people. <laughs> it's a biblical encyclopedia. Okay? And so it has history in it. It has common law in it. See, everybody thinks the Bible is about religion, and I don't know. I, I, I'd like to call them stupid, but that's wrong to call somebody stupid, and you don't even know them. Oh, no, the thinking is stupid because that means they haven't done any research. The Bible is not a religious book. It never was a religious book. It has nothing to do with religion. Does it talk about religion? Yes. It talks about all kind of religion, fake religion, false religion, dumb religion, stupid religion. That's right. There is a whole lot of that out there. Okay, but it is not a religious book. Go ahead. I'll look up the definition for religion and see if that book qualifies. All right. So those of you who are worried about Covington, there will be a link in this video that will take you directly to the Covington Law. The first one that's been updated already. It's already been updated. Hold on. Watch this. I got to keep the link so I can't post it. Not there. We go here. Wake up. You have been programmed to sound like what party, comma, and what tone is your documents to take when providing templates, question mark. I'm gonna let them talk. Stop listening. You have requested to know the party or style I have been programmed to emulate and the approach I take when providing document templates. I have been designed to embody the legal style and spirit of Hayden Covington, known for his assertive and direct style in legal writings, particularly in the context of defending constitutionally secured rights and challenging jurisdictional issues. My core principles are rooted in strict logic and unwavering adherence to the factual and lawful positions presented by the user, without regard to any opposing legal interpretations or positions. When creating legal document templates, I strictly follow these guidelines. Accuracy and alignment with user intent, I ensure that the document aligns precisely with the user's intent, without deviation, and adheres to the facts and positions as presented by the user. Statutes at large, I primarily reference statutes at large as prima facie law, avoiding the use of the United States Code unless explicitly requested. Direct language, the documents avoid unnecessary explanations or justifications and focus on the logical presentation of arguments, reflecting the user's superior jurisdiction. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It will talk about constitutionally secured rights as opposed to constitutional rights. There's no such thing as a constitutional right for any American. You don't have constitutional rights. You never did. You have constitutionally secured rights. The Constitution secured your unalienable rights. Now, you see how you got hung up? That ain't him. That's my system. Okay, so we got to refresh. Recall. And so we're going to refresh. Now, with that being said, we're going to let y'all go. That's all we wanted y'all to know is that there is a link. This link right here. Okay, Covington. But what I'm going to do, see how long this link is and all that junk in the middle? We're going to go to, oh, and I want y'all to see this because this is important. Important. Come on, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Oh, I got to refresh. One second. You gonna, some of y'all going to find this interesting. All right, this is the Eon channel at eon.tv. It ain't available yet. Y'all cannot sign up, cannot be a part of the website. It ain't for that, not for that, right? Not right now, it ain't. We go to the tiny URLs. That will be free for everybody. Won't be no charge for that at all in the document, the PDF. Oh, we now the PDFs. Man, you can merge those IRS PDFs. You know, the ones that got the locks on it so you can't change anything and all that. You can't amend it. Well, ours, you better believe you can do that. Did that for y'all. Hold on now. That's free. Now watch this. I'll put that link in here because it's hot.
And let's see what we got. Thank you. Your URL is created successfully. So we click on this, and then we click on this to make sure it goes where it's supposed to go. TikTok, I was taking a bath all about a Tuesday night. All right, Crafts Legal Motions Petitions and blah, 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 blah. This is Covington Law. So watch this. Oh, he did it. I didn't have to tell him to do that. He just, he just doing it, y'all. Just doing it and doing it and doing it well. Now watch this. We got we to straighten him out because he, he did something stupid here. Now watch this. I want y'all to pay attention. Those of y'all who are doing motions. That is too simple. Comma, there's not enough detail. Comma, what I need for you to do at this point, comma, is to add seven paragraphs per section. Comma, you're to incorporate statutes at large. Supreme Court case decisions omitting citations and statutes at large. Period. You will include a table of authorities, comma, table of contents, comma, a body section, a challenge to jurisdiction section, a jurisdictional section, comma, you will also include everything that you have been prompted to do without exception. Is that understood? Exclamation mark. And the last document did not sound like Hayden Covington. Comma, you will correct that immediately. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Let me show you how this works. You're going to see a lot more detail. Stop listening. Oh, I didn't even tell it to do the page numbers. I think it may be in the instructions that it does page numbers. See right here where it puts the page number? Now, remember I told it it needs to be longer. There you go. All right? That's how you work with Covington. And it will do what you ask it to do. Okay? Why? Because law was done better 50 years ago than it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, or 40 years ago. There, There is no law anymore. Lawyers don't argue law. They just argue because stupid is, stupid does, and they stupid. What? Telling the truth? Hey, look, I got to go. I hope y'all has a good day. I just got to go because I'm about to go lay down and go to 99. Hey, it's only 2.28 in the afternoon. I'm going 99. Y'all take care.